Okay, so this is how we are going to fold the material for the Halligan Healthcare Helpers face masks um, for RGH and other local hospitals. In your kit, which will look like this, all the parts will be included, the straps, the twist ties, and the body of the face mask. When you unroll it, each body of the face mask is cut like this. This is the method that I have found works the best for me. You will be given a two scale diagram of what the face mask will look like and what the folds and dimensions are. So when you get your piece of fabric, there is no right or wrong side to this fabric. You fold it in half, finger press it down. Fold it in half again, finger press it to get the center. Hold the fabric right there in the center. Take your two twist ties, stack them on top of each other, and then set them right in the center part and, and stitch a pocket very tight right around them. When it is finished sewing, it will look like this. Once you've done that, take your mask pattern, lay it in front of you, I do it upside down so that I can get the fold right. I lay the top where the nose piece is right on top of the edge of the pattern. And then I fold it to the very first line so that I have my first inch and a quarter. Then I fold it down about a half an inch to make that first pleat, finger press it down. This fabric is a spun bond polypropylene so it is non-woven, pins do not go through it. So I use paper clips. Excuse the noise in the background, we've got something coming in. <laughs> then what I do is flip it over and I put my fingers right here and I make a half inch fold and just come right down. And again, use two paper clips to hold the fabric. And then I just have my last fold that I take down and I want to make sure that from the bottom of this last fold to the bottom is approximately one inch. And then after I have paper clipped it all together, I turn it around put it on my pattern to see if it fits. And you can see that the first fold is one and a quarter inch, the bottom is an inch. From there then I take it to my machine. I have my four ties ready. What we have. <laughs> and then we put the first tie in at about a half an inch. We stitch down and back and then all the way down lift up the bottom, put the second tie in, down and back to reinforce it. Make sure you remove the paper clips because your sewing needles won't go over them and you'll break one. Then I turn it over, do the exact same thing. Put the tie in, stitch down and back, take it down, put the last tie in, down and back to reinforce it. Then I turn and finish the seam right along the bottom. So it will look like this. The bottom seam is sewn. The ties are stitched into the sides. Two twist ties at top. Make sure you seam along the bottom. All the edges are raw and you can use any color thread. Thank you very much for sewing these masks that will be used in our local hospitals.